It closes and his arms get cut off. That weird cow hippo horse is cool. <laughs> what the... F- oh, my Jesus Christ, I thought he looked like an alien. Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name is Sean and behind the camera we have uh, Tommy. Sup? And today we are carrying on with our childhood memory movies playlist. Talking all and watching all nostalgic movies from our childhoods uh, and potentially yours as well. We've previously... Oh. <laughs> Pre- previously we previously we have uh, watched stuff like Ferris Bueller's uh, Day Off we watched Highlander uh, Titan AE we watched uh, Small uh, Never Soldiers Never Ending Story Never Ending Story as well go check that video <laughs> out it probably needs the views <laughs> um, no but today it is Tom's pick because my pick was Titan AE last time a, yeah. an animated oh, it's good. Uh, it's really good. animated movie that I think was a little bit underrated hmm. but uh, what are we watching today, Tom? We're going to sci-fi, believe it or not, Sean. Of course, I think I have a guess as to what this might be. 1994. I uh, definitely have a guess what this is. What is it? Is it Stargate? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roland like, Emmerich is the director. Roland Emmerich. I've been waiting for you to choose this for a long time now. I just see Stargate as like... Uh, you know, Star Trek is... Oh, actually, I might tread... I'm going to tread on thin ice here. <laughs> Um, you've got either Star Trek is the is the uh, the budget version of Star Wars, or Star Wars is the budget version of Star Trek. But then you have Stargate, which is like the offspring, inbred offspring. Oh of them my both, god! That Get no one like. Ugh. Right, right. But you I, take the I, camera, wait, wait. I want. I want to be. I want to be proven wrong, though. I want to be proven wrong. Right, right, right. Give me the camera. You. I mean, you have the camera. Right. <clears throat> You're wrong. You're wrong, Sean. Right. Do you, have you even seen anything of Stargate before? I've seen like the blue little portal thing that they go into. Right. So you've probably seen the TV show or something like that, right? Don't I? Man, there's. I'm a massive Star Trek fan, and I love Star Wars as well. But uh, I always had a massive soft spot for this film. Um, it doesn't. It isn't in the same league as the beer moths, Star Trek and Star Wars, but it's still. I enjoy it. So, it's, it's so I'm nostalgia. right in saying it's the inbred offspring of uh, a <laughs> Right. Everybody likes. You, you know Roland Emmerich, don't you? He yeah. directed uh, Independence Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else has he done? I think he went branched off into disaster films like The Day After Tomorrow in 2012. And, yeah. and he's progressively got worse and worse. <laughs> but this has got James Spader and uh, Kurt Russell, who we watched recently. Okay. Well, not in recently, Escape. but in Escape from New York and The Thing. So it's got some good... It's got some good uh, meat on the bones. Let's just see what Sean thinks, guys. Uh, let us know what you think as well. Before we finish, drop us a little like and subscribe on the channel to help us out. And if you want to join us on Patreon to watch every film ever made in full length, version edition, then <laughs> hop on over there and join us. Right, let's go, Sean. Stargate. I love the is this theme like the music, man. One, it takes one, me back. Once upon a time in the galaxy far, far away. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is the gate that they're hanging around. You guessed wrong. Mm. We've got a love-hate relationship with opening credits on this channel. Yeah, I was going to say, is this film two hours long because it's got 20 minutes of opening credits? <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen twenty-eight. I could really do with some gyozas right now. Is it because it said geezer? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there it is. The Stargate. Oorara. I wonder if it's actually made of like polystyrene and probably as a set piece. It looks like it is. Looks lightweight. Present day. What? What year was it? Nineteen ninety-four. So it's like sixty. Sixty-six years later. Nineteen ninety-four. What? No. I can't do maths. <laughs> or Martians, perhaps. Ancient aliens. Is that what this is about? No, it reminds me of the meme. We're not seeing it. Wait, so they go back in time to discover, to find out who built the pyramids. It's not about time travel. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Highlander was time travel as well. Hmm. Technically, was. Just really slow time travel to the extent that it's just normal, <laughs> normal time. time. <laughs> you want to prove that your theories are right? This is your chance. Mm. 
And his theory is that the Egyptians didn't build the pyramids. Yeah. Pyramids, it's easy. It's easy. They're easy to build. It's Lego. Just block, put one block on top of another. Yeah, just really heavy Lego. He wanted to say stuff about the TV show, but it will ruin it. Did the TV show come out before the film? No, the TV show is a continuation of the Oh, film. continuation. Oh, okay. Is Kurt Russell in the TV show? No, you got to read So he dies. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm not going to tell you anything. Oh my God, it's Snake. And then he just... <laughs> Yeah, what did they what do they say? What do they always say? Snake, I thought you were dead. <laughs> God damn you, Snake, I <laughs> thought you were dead. We missed a, a really important bit there. When we were talking. And they whispered it. Yeah. I could hardly hear that. What did they say? The, the uh, kid accidentally his son accidentally shot himself. That's why he was in his room with the girl. Holding a girl. Door to hell. Is... Door to hell. Target. Daughter Hell would have been cool as well. Hell, hell don't. Hell raise it. <laughs> I do recognise him. That's James Spader, yeah. Oh, he looks so young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. That's 30 years ago almost, isn't it? He looks like one of the soldiers out of Toy Soldiers. <laughs> Small soldiers, even. Mm. So the point is the pyramid. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't just act like you don't know. <laughs> I've seen Corridor Crew talk about that effect. Oh, really? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? It's like a pra it was practical. What, the actual blue yeah. thing? No way. Yeah, it's like um, a little bomb being set off underwater and, it, and they just record it. Oh, they recorded it and then transferred it? Yeah. Oh. Right, Chase. It's on the other side of the... No universe. Madness. That's freaky though, it's isn't freaky. it? Time, isn't it? You call. There's no way in hell you'd go through that thing. Wait, he's going through he's gonna he go through on the it. team, yeah. He's got oh Jesus Christ. You would want to though. Yeah. He's got yeah. he said he's got like his life he's got nothing, nothing left. left and uh, it would be incredible to do that. I want to see more of him and understand what he is, what he's thinking. Yeah. Like his, his son's obviously died, and how is this experience and why, and why is he him? doing this? Why yeah. is he going? Maybe because he's got nothing as well, but in a different way. I know. It closes and his arms get cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what happens if it does really close off, yeah. Oh, imagine that. You're on the other side Damn. of the fucking universe. Imagine if you heard like a little scuttle as well. Yeah, as and, and you've got just one person reliant on getting you back and there's not even a guarantee of that. Yeah. <laughs> or part of it might be broken or something. Yeah. I wouldn't just run off. But they're like What's scoping. That they're scouting and scoping, aren't they? Like, yeah. Scouting and scoping. Scouting and scoping and scoping and scouting. <laughs> what, are we, what, what are we? <laughs> We're a professional reactors channel, Tom. <laughs> it just looks like the same as Earth. <laughs> I wanted it to be Tatooine. I wanted it to be it to be interesting, but it's just desert. Desert. <laughs> wow. That's like this planet that's, looks. That's, this all, plan that's all Star Wars shows these days. Yeah. It's always yeah. Tatooine. It's desert. like oh, this this is otherworldly. Not. We've got this shit on our planet. <laughs> what? Oh, damn. Oh, look at all the moons. Oh, no, I didn't even realise there's a pyramid there, so that means there's obviously... How did you not realise? Yeah, I was focusing on the moons. What? There was literally was... the centre of the frame. <laughs> I was looking, I was anticipating the moons there, that's why. We really need to look around. Your job here is to realign the Stargate. Can you do that or not? <laughs> what? That bomb? Why? Why the fuck? <laughs> Why, well, yeah, damn it! What's the motive? 
Has he been there given a, a secret mission then to was a in, suspicious at all. Yeah, to like enslave anything and blow up something. I like I really it's really annoying not know understanding the motive and and just having I hope there's a good reason for it, Tom. Because if there isn't, I'm just gonna be like, What the fuck? What what he just wants to blow things up. <laughs> has to be a good reason. What's that? What the <laughs> Would you go near that thing if you saw it? Probably keep my distance. It's got a harness! Domesticated! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is that gonna drag him all the way to like some civilization they have to grab, get him back? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh man, I hate sand. I oh, absolutely you do, hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's like Anakin Skywalker. He's oh yeah, him. you know it's it's rough. It's <laughs> coarse and irritating. It gets everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> I like how they're still showing it. And then... <laughs> oh. oh. You'd be like, oh, you wouldn't even know what to do. Would you even go near them? I hope he's a reasonable guy. I re <laughs> <laughs> you, you what you said? I hope he's a reasonable guy. Like, I hope he's just not like a, a moustache twirling villain. Do you know what, what I mean? What, because of his bum? Yeah. I hope he has a uh, a motive or a moral that, that you can understand. You know, villains are the best when... Yeah. You understand their point of view, like Thanos. Wait, you empathise with Thanos? Yes, 100%. I, I actually support his view. <laughs> the Avengers are just egotistical twats that stopped something that could have been great. What the hell's going on? It's the same way. What's forbidden? Writing's forbidden. Oh, shit. They're being, like, subjugated, aren't they? Like, oppressed. Mm. The thing is, like, he needs to update these people because they'll just get bored and... What? Run away and leave? No, these guys will just get bored and they'll take matters into their own hands to yeah. try and get home. Oh, what the fuck? They oh shit. They said the dust, the sandstorm was blocking the signals, didn't they? Yeah. They're getting a visitor. I love how you said that. Wait a minute, these things are just like space train stations. <laughs> what the f Is it. It's like encasing it. Are they gonna get taken? <laughs> what the. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I thought it would be. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I thought it would be. It always I love that scene, it's so yeah, cool. Yeah, that was a good reveal. I was like at first I was like, um what were they out of Halo? Elite, so yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's an elite. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you said you, th I th you thought it'd be, what do you mean? Like, because I, as soon as I saw the hand, I was like, oh, the hieroglyphics, yeah, they, the, yeah, yeah, the Egyptians, the Egyptians, the gods, um, gods, yeah. Well, that's why they were, s they had that golden Ra thing that they were. Mm. What in the world? Who's gonna come out of it? Was he getting put in it? Oh no. Hmm. Hey. Do they not have fire? Yeah, they must. Yeah, yeah they have they fucking do. fire everywhere. But they don't have the ability to just make it out of thin air, like. Yeah, but he touched it as if like, what is this? You would, though, wouldn't you? If you'd never. No, because there's fucking fire over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but like if you've never seen it, just appear and disappear and mm. appear and disappear. Yeah. That cow, that weird cow hippo horse is cool. <laughs> Obviously like a two guys inside it then. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What would you do now in this situation if you were stuck on air? I'd uh, spray and pray. <laughs> <laughs> this got their back there. You'd think they'd be like, what the hell? Yeah, I know. They're just like, hmm, that's new. <laughs> this guy's got a real dog complex, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh. No, no. oh! Oh shit! Oh damn! What? They're just destroying the village! Why? Yeah, punishing them for helping the theaters. Oh man, it's like when the Ewoks get hurt in Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Can't believe you compared these people to Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F oh my <laughs> Jesus Christ! I thought he looked like an alien. Face. And I will destroy it. No. Oh. Interesting. Did he really though? Because he kept them enslaved, and they only. They only progressed because one team they was gone. Rose up and got rid of it. Yeah, <laughs> true. Is he telling them to kill him? Turn around and kill him. Oh no. He died in downward doggy. <laughs> 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 Someone strikes again, man. What are you doing? I found it. What are you talking about? The Sifton Sin. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, how, how does he know that's the seventh? And he could have literally have drawn anything and was like, that, that might be the seventh. <laughs> that might have been the seventh. <laughs> I point it sideways. <laughs> How you doing? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. Make sure this goes off. You got seven minutes. I'm, I'm, I don't. I, I need more time. <laughs> You could have warned me. What are you doing? Oh, she, he's gonna put her in the thing to heal her. Oh yeah. But I just hit the bar. Oh god. Yeah, but how long does it take? It might take six and a half minutes to. Could take six and a half years. <laughs> you have no idea if it brings anyone back from the dead. He brought him back from the dead. Oh, was he dead? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought he was just That's what he said. wounded. <laughs> oh my god. Give my regards to Chink's hot asshole. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, oh the first, his bit, arm. first bit of door. Oh, his arm went. Quickly stop it. Shit. It's going down faster. 
Yes. Rohan. <laughs> Calls for Why aid. Is it Rohan? <laughs> Some people were falling over, I think. Just leave it, turn it off. I'm trying to, I can't disarm it. What? I can't stop it, they got it rigged. Oh my god, 40 seconds. <laughs> what did you do? 40 seconds, you got 40 seconds to live. What do you do? I, like, you can't took, run. Took it out the window. You can't, you can't. It's just fucking kill you still. <laughs> it's not, an, it's an atom bomb. Fucking chuck it out the window. <laughs> I've got an idea. Yeah, up to the ship. <laughs> Surely that would be. What's he doing? Oh. Mad. Thank God he was just out of the atmosphere. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. Is he staying? You're gonna be alright. No way. You would not do that. But just had, for just for a girl. No, he had nothing. And it yeah. was his life's passion researching yeah. ancient Egypt. But if he goes back, he's gonna you know, be able to write a yeah. book about it and have everything. Mate, it's uh, classified. <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. Nineteen ninety four Stargate, directed by Roland Emmerich. What do you think, Sean? It was far better than I was expecting it to be. I was dreading watching this film just because... Really? Why? You know, you know when at the very start of when we started this channel, we were like, uh, there were movies like The Exorcist where we knew it was popular, but we didn't want to watch it just because people tell you to watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have that, I had that feeling about this. What, you um, knew it was... I knew it was popular. Yeah. I didn't think it would be my type of thing, but... Um, but uh, yeah, it just it, it did surprise me of how, yeah. and I, and and it is very different as to how I thought it was going to yeah. be. It's it's a diff, it's a weird one this film because it's like it's nowhere near as popular as like other sci-fi, but at the same time, it does still have a a big kind of franchise and universe behind it. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's not as popular. Maybe because it's not as sci-fi action orientated as. Maybe because it it, it, as, it solidifies itself ones. within, um, it solidifies its it, itself in real history as well. Like it, it's influenced yeah. by real history. Yeah. So maybe people, when they watch sci-fi, they just want to be yeah. completely out there. But I do. The I love that like I aspect of the story. Like, I loved it as well. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And now like, they mix and mash the sci-fi with the yeah, ancient. Yeah, and it's history. all. It's really unnerving and and uh, intriguing when they talk about how this Ra character came from distant stars and yeah. enslaved the people of Earth and things like that. Yeah. Um, I like the TV show because it carries on with that and it always does go more sci-fi. And it, it is a kind of... They had go to different planets and there's the other Egyptian gods are in it. Okay. And like... Uh, there are other aliens and it builds on it. So I think that has I think that actually has more of a following than the film does. Okay. Which is weird. I don't know whether this they set out to intend this to be like a film franchise or not. And did you say there's uh, ten seasons? There's ten seasons of a... how many episodes in total? I think there's like two, two there's two hundred and thirty one in total. Fucking hell. Yeah. I was I was gonna say like and they're all like forty minutes as well. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say if you would like us to watch the TV show on this channel, comment down below. But ten seasons over two hundred episodes, I think that's a big commitment to start. Yeah, oh, you can I don't even think it's doable, but it's well worth checking out. Like, mm. uh, I'll be intrigued to then... check out the first season. Yeah, just to see if I. Uh, like I'll give any anything a try, and the first season will give me an indication as as to whether I would want to carry it on privately mm. or carry it on with the with the with the with the channel. But mm. I'd I'd be up for watching season one on the channel at yeah, least yeah, at yeah. the very yeah. least. Let's know what if you people think, want to, us to watch it. But um, the I love the practical effects in it. Yeah, like the music's really good. The score. I think one of the weaker spots for me is the characters are pretty two D, and you don't get they are in depth. I feel like Kurt Russell's wasted a bit here. Um, as a I secondary like, character. As, yeah, you could have had more, or just more dialogue with him to to have more conflict with uh, James Spader's character. Um, 
Yeah, there but was, also yeah. I feel like the secondary characters lack a bit of character. As I didn't well. know any of their names. Yeah, and yeah. and if I'm honest with you, they all looked similar, so I didn't I couldn't distinguish who died and who didn't. Yeah, from the uh, army. Yeah, men, yeah, from the army yeah. men. Uh, so yeah, I agree with you in that in that regard. It's a slow burn as well. It takes a while to get going at the start, doesn't it? But I didn't feel the two hours though. Did you not? I no. did not feel that it went on for two hours. So that's a positive. It was entertaining enough for me not to really get bored at any mm. point, um, and intriguing enough. What I do feel that is that the start before entering was far more gripping. Like the intrigue of it before the they get there. The intrigue of it was far more gripping. And perhaps there was then, more promise with the perhaps characters. Perhaps then they then. should have done things like when they get there, they read hieroglyphs and the, they get partial stories of this rare character and you hear and more early about on. him early on yeah. before you see him. Yeah. And that would make the build-up and intrigue carry on throughout. Yeah, and the tension build, yeah. Yeah. No, that would that would have been a good idea. Um, but like I said... But the, that bit where the, the Anubis kind of figure got revealed for the first time that was getting picked off yeah that was was really tense that That, was really they could have done a bit more of that earlier i guess but yeah no i i liked it and then like i said it was better than i expected it to be um it's got a seven out of ten on imdb what would you rate it out of ten tom i would actually rate it uh probably an eight just an eight because of the nostalgia Nostalgia factor as well yeah um what about you I would rate it, um, for me, I'd rate it 7.7 out of 10. 7.7. I was I was thinking, do I rate it an 8? And I just don't think I have that nostalgia factor to to warrant it, given, mm. given it an 8. I think, like 7. you, like 7. you 7. said... 7.7 is still a great score. Still though. a great score, because it's entertaining. The only thing that holds it back are the characters. Yeah. So I, 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 I do agree with you. Um, and... And they, like you said, Kurt Russell and many other big actors here are wasted. There's no yeah. character de- depth to them. Yeah. But that is outweighed by the intrigue, the, the set designs the fun of the film, and the fun of the plot. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I like it. And I see why people wanted to go back to this universe with, yeah. the, with a TV yeah. show. I still think they'll, be, they'll do another series or film like one day or soon because mm. I think it's been acquired by a different studio and that but the the other one had seven, the film had 7.1 the series has got 8.4 so on, so Stargate on. SG is SG just Stargate SG1 that's the name of the team like the first Stargate team okay um, but there you see the uh, the creatures yeah. the aliens there don't you? if I go yeah. back there's Atlantis, which I think was like binned off as rubbish. Yeah, but I never watched that. That had a Jason, that had Jason Momoa in actually. Really. And then there was one called Stargate Universe as well. Okay. Which uh, I think was a bit later, but they did. They even did films of the uh, TV show as well. Oh, what? That's Stargate that, Universe. There's a Stargate SG One all the way to the right. I've seen and again. Season I've seen 10. the picture of that guy, with the black guy with the with the eye on his on his yeah. On his so head. he he's so one of he's one of the the aliens. They have these weird like parasite worms in them. That they're, they're, they're yeah, I think I've seen clips and, and stuff. Uh, so that's season what two is that? That's season oh, two. Okay, so it's all part of the same thing. Okay. Yeah. But... Okay. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, what what do you guys rate Stargate uh, the film? Do you agree eight or seven point seven? Uh, what was your first experience not growing up with this film? And what was your experience growing up with this film? And what is your favourite childhood nostalgic film that brings you joy to rewatch over and over again? Yeah. And did you enjoy the series? Is the series better than the actual film? Would you like us to see, watch at least, at least the season one? I doubt we'll get through all ten seasons, but I'm intrigued to watch the first se- mm. season at least. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really have any much else to say. I mean... It, the film is what it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, on face value, it's entertaining and it's yeah. intriguing and it was fun. Uh, but like we both said, the characters were lacking a little mm. bit. That was that was, that was was it, really. Mm. But uh, thank you for watching. If you want to watch the full length of reaction along with us, check out the uh, our Patreon page down in the description below. And also, our Shorts channel is live. Mm. So you can check out the uh, best reaction bits from all of our videos on our Shorts channel. We've got two more 
left. And then we're moving on to a new genre. Called sci-fi. sci-fi. Which is what we've been doing in this <laughs> in this video. But so, oh well, it's a segue into that genre. So It is, it is. Um, wait, have we got two each? No, that was... We've got three, three more then. Yeah, because I still more. got two more. You've got two more and I've got one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three more. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.